Maldives, white beaches, blue sky, crystal clear water, beautiful coral reefs. And I got the opportunity to fly high and low in paradise. And this is my report. Hi, my name is Magnar Nordahl. I'm an ATR tape rating instructor and airline captain. And this channel is all about aviation. This time I will talk about flying in the Maldives. Maldives is located in the Indian Ocean. It's a chain of 26 atolls with 1192 coral islands. Average elevation is only 1.5 meters and the population is about 380,000. Male is the capital of Maldives. It's located on an island less than two square kilometers in area. About one third of the population of Maldives live there, which means about 130,000 people. And this makes Male one of the most densely populated cities in the world. Maldives has more than 100 resorts and most of the tourists are heading for one of them. If the resort is near the airport, they will travel by speedboat. If the resort is further away, you will fly with a seaplane or a land-based aircraft like the ATR-72 from FlyMe. Bye bye! And after a short flight, you will land at a smaller airport. You take a bus ride to the jetty and then a boat to your destination. It's an early morning at Holiday Island. In the background, can you see Mamigili Airport? And here comes the crew from Villa Air. They will have the first flight to Malva this morning. Villa Air operates ATR 42 and 72 on domestic routes in Maldives and at the time I was with them, they operated to nine different destinations. I have a European license issued by EASA. And in order to convert to a Maldivian license, I had to do a written test in the regulations because they are different from country to country. And I had to do a medical check. And once everything was done, I got a work permit and could start to fly. This video is a compilation of many flights. So you will see different aircraft variants, different crew and different weather. The track distance from Mamigili to Male is 60 nautical miles and our cruise altitude depends on the track distance which depends on the runway in use.
We are now on an Arnav approach, runway 1A to Mali Airport. Arnav means that we use GPS as navigation source. At each side of the runway you see four bright lights. They give a visual guidance for the pilots down to the runway. When you see two white and two red lights, you are on a 3 degree slope, which is perfect. If you have three white and one red, you are slightly high. Four white means you are too high. And when you see one white and three red, it means you are slightly low. And four red means you are too low. The ATR-42 has a refueling connector under the wing, while the ATR-72 has a connector behind the right main landing gear. When we fill 2,800 kilograms, we can fly to Mamigili and back two times, four sectors in all. The apron outside the domestic terminal in Male is quite small, so it can be very tight to taxi in and out. We are departing runway 36 from intersection Alpha. We have more than 2000 meter runway ahead of us, so there is no reason to backtrack. And here we are on visual approach runway 11 to Daravando. You can see two lights to the left of the runway. They are called Apapi. And when you are on the correct profile, you have one white and one red light. The runway is 1200 meters long, which is adequate for landing, but you cannot go with maximum certified takeoff weight. Therefore, you calculate a maximum takeoff weight based on the actual uh, weather conditions like wind and temperature.
Here we see some of the engine instruments. Engine number two is in hotel mode. And we start engine number one. And you can see how the ITT, that is the temperature inside the engine, is increasing. When flying from Daravando, we usually go to uh, Malda, but I skipped uh, landing there now because we have already been there. So we continue south to an airport named Kodo. We have 50 knots crosswind from left and just as we cross the threshold the crosswind disappeared and the aircraft start to drift to the left before it was corrected back. The runway is 1200 meters, which means we use full runway length for takeoff. This is a very short flight across the atoll to Kadedo. This airport is a bit difficult to spell, but thankfully more easy to pronounce. We make a visual approach to runway 34, and as you can see on the water, we have some wind from the west. The weather is quite rainy and cloudy from June to August. This is the monsoon season in this area.
tilt it into the buckle and tighten by pulling on the strap. To unfasten it, lift the metal buckle and pull out. After departing Kadedo, we are heading north towards Malay. This time, we fly an eyeless approach to runway 36. As you can see, there are no taxiways parallel to the runway. That means the big airliners, they had to push back onto the runway, start the engines there and then taxi all the way to the end of the runway before they can take off. And this delays some traffic now and then. Okay, we have departed Mala and you see the city in the center, the airport slightly up to the left and beyond that is Ulumala. We are now on a visual approach to Mamigili runway 09 and this concludes our round trip in Maldives. You cannot leave Maldives without checking out the coral reefs. They are home to more than 1,500 different fish species. And since this video is all about flying, here is an eagle rye, the best flyer in the sea. It can be up to 5 meters long when you include the tail. The manta ray can have a wingspan up to 4 meters. And the manta rays often gather at special places where they are served by so-called cleaner fish who pick parasites from the skin. We call those places for manta point. And this concludes this video. I really hope you liked it. Please support this channel by clicking like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for watching and happy learning.